Okay, Jesse Morell here and you're back in my kitchen. I did a video not too long ago on Master Tonic and I explained how God designed the health of the body to be sustained naturally through food. And so I've been studying the human body and health and food and what different ingredients do uh, to our body. And I've come across something called goji berries. Uh, here, this is uh, some some of the goji berries that I've uh, purchased at a local natural grocer. And these goji berries have been used medicinally in Tibet as well as in China, uh, well, for centuries. Uh, they're rich in uh, different ingredients that are good for the body. They have more beta carotene than carrots, more vitamin C than oranges, more iron than spinach, uh, let's see, more antioxidants than blueberries, and it has all nine amino, essential amino acids, uh, actually a total of 18 amino acids, including the nine essential amino acids. Uh, I felt like a cold was coming on uh, from my baby. My baby had a cold and, uh, you know, I probably uh, shared something with her or kissed her and I got this cold and I made some goji berry tea and immediately felt uh, it left and it never did uh, come on fully. And so I can already give a good positive testimony. Uh, it's probably all the vitamin C in this. According to the, the back of it, uh, it's uh, vitamin C 250%, uh, which, you know, is a lot. And so, um, you know, the antioxidants are really what I'm excited about in this, and that's why they consider goji berries, you know, uh, an anti-aging food. Uh, it's considered a super food uh, because the body starts to age because of these free radicals. In fact, the free radicals are also, you know, like a cause of, of cancer. And so these antioxidants from blueberries or from goji berries, uh, that helps uh, fight these uh, free radicals. You know, it gives them uh, what they gives the cell uh, what it needs uh, so that it doesn't become a free radical and so and damage the body. So I've been making goji berry tea and I recommend it for everyone else. Uh, I, I like drinking tea. I always drink tea in the evenings. I'll make a cup of tea and read a good book, you know, maybe some sermons by uh, Charles Finney or some uh, account of revival. And I always like to have a nice cup of tea when I'm reading a book in the evening. And so now I've started drinking goji berry tea. And so I want to show you how I make it. Uh, first of all, I boil some water. And this is just a little boiler I have that uh, boils water very, very quickly. And then I bought a little, uh, in like an Asian teapot, kind of makes it official since these goji berry teas are made in China. Uh, technically speaking, the goji berry comes from Tibet, whereas uh, in China they're called uh, wolf berries. Um, but, I mean, they're basically the same with, as far as ingredients and nutrients in the berry. Um, I couldn't necessarily tell you the difference. So the first thing I do, I'll take two uh, spoonfuls of the goji berries. And you can see, see these have been uh, dried for packaging. You can grow your own, and I'd like to maybe grow my own. Um, you can grow them virtually anywhere in the United States, and uh, I'm you know that way you probably wouldn't lose uh, nutrients you know if you just have them fresh from your own garden uh, these are still supposed to be pretty rich uh, in nutrients uh, you know I read about how they preserve them and dry them and it's supposed to be a way that preserves the nutrients but uh, I don't know but all I know is that I was feeling a cold and and it never did come on when I drank it so then you just fill it up with some uh, hot water boiling hot water and you can actually just add these straight to uh, boiling water. I think that's how the, the Chinese will make it. They'll boil some water and put some goji berry tea in it, or goji berries into it, and then you let it simmer for about 15 minutes, you know, in, the, uh, in that boiling hot water. So I add some boiling hot water to it and bring it over to my stove top. I have a cast iron teapot here with a glass stovetop. They say you're not supposed to use cast iron. You know, they, they say you're not supposed to use cast iron on a glass stovetop, but I've never had any problems with it, so, you know, just to let you know. So then I just put it on, I put it on a little higher than simmer, uh, just maybe like a one or a two, and I let it sit for at least 15 minutes. Uh, what was really good 
uh, when, and I, I don't do it all the time, but occasionally, I'll put it in boiling hot water in just a pot, the, put the goji berries in the boiling hot water in a pot overnight. Uh, of course, not with, not letting the water boil overnight, but when I add the goji berries to the pot, it was boiling water, and then I turn it off, and I just let it, you know, steep overnight, and then in the morning, I just put it on simmer and warm it up and drink it then and that works well you know you can prepare it the night before that way it's ready for you in the morning you just warm it up and drink it uh, it really helps with letting it you know steep uh, but I'm just gonna let it steep like this for about 15 minutes and then uh, I'll show you what it looks like after that okay welcome back it's been uh, over 15 minutes like I said you let it steep for about 15 minutes I let this steep for about uh, 20 a little over 20 minutes I find if you let it steep for longer it's got a richer color to the tea and so I like that uh, let me show you what it looks like now uh, here it is and uh, you can see when it comes out it's got a nice nice color to it and I always uh, add, now this is hot, so let me get my little mitten on. I always add some of the berries to the actual tea, because you eat the berries. You know, there's lots of nutrients left. So you can see these were like a nice red, now they're like a light orange. And so a lot of the uh, color has, you know, gone into the tea. And, uh, and then I'll put just a, a little bit of honey into the cup and it makes a really great tasting tea in fact i've drinking it without the honey i've drinking it just straight uh with the goji berries and no honey and uh, i like it that way but when i add a little bit of honey oh it tastes tastes really really good with just a little bit of honey and uh, other people will mix it like with a mint tea my wife would like uh, when she has it she likes to mix it with a, a mint tea and there's other teas that are good for you you know like black tea or green tea or white tea and they do different things for you um, what I really like about the goji tea like I said is the antioxidants when I think about God designing mankind and putting us in the garden of Eden it's a raw vegetable garden you know obviously didn't teach them how to cook with an open flame they ate their vegetables raw and got all the nutrients out of it that way and the tree of life must have had a very powerful antioxidant I mean the tree of life the fruit of the tree of life must have been a real super fruit because it's these antioxidants that help with aging you know it's the free radicals that that cause aging and cause uh, diseases uh, different types of diseases and so for a fruit like the fruit of the tree of life to sustain the health of the body perfectly it must have been a very very powerful uh, antioxidant uh, probably similar although much better uh, to you know the goji berry when I think of the goji berry I think of the tree of life and the fruit of the tree of life that's just me and so I think Americans we really need to eat better uh, our diets uh, have been consistent of so much sugar you got sugar in your ketchup you got sugar in your milk you got sugar in your desserts you got I mean just sugar in your drinks uh, sugar is in, in it just destroys the body, ages the body. And uh, certainly there's a lot of uh, gluttony in America, uh, a lot of uh, unhealthy people. Americans, Americans can go for a bit more fasting. We, we certainly need a lot more prayer and a lot more fasting. And uh, especially as Christians, we ought to be a good example, you know, of, uh, of treating our bodies right and being healthy, especially because we're the temple of God. Uh, and uh, we want to uh, serve God with our body, present our body a living sacrifice. You know, you don't uh, you don't live to eat, you eat to live. So I like my goji berry tea. Uh, I think it's very healthy. Uh, the, the ones that I buy, these goji berries, you know, they're, they're raw, vegan, gluten-free, GMO-free, which is very important. And uh, like I said, it's more antioxidants than blueberries, more vitamin C than oranges, more beta carotene than carrots, more iron than spinach, and 18 amino acids, including the nine essential amino acids. So uh, it's a really awesome tea. If you're a tea drinker, you might as well be drinking this. Uh, you know, if you're a coffee drinker, maybe switch to this um, because, you know, it's just so good for your body. And uh, I encourage you to drink your goji tea every day uh, when you read your Bible every day. You know, at the end of every day, read your Bible, drink your goji berry tea, and you'll be uh, better off spiritually and physically if you do so. So uh, this was just a nice gold nugget I found uh, just recently discovered goji berry tea and I'm so excited about it so I just wanted to share it with everybody because I'm sure many people don't even know about it. I certainly never did and so God bless you guys.